I guess our home is a little different than most. We take in animals who need a second chance, we rehabilitate them, and then we give them a job, working with kids to show them that they can get through the tough times too. It's not always easy taking care of all of these creatures, but the bonds that we form and the mission that we are on makes it worth all the work. Welcome to the House of Nubs. You know, it's kind of funny because most creatures, when they get in the car, are not super excited. You are always so excited. Is that right? Yes, because this is like the best ever, right? Yes. Okay, well, I got I to gotta load everybody else up, and then we got to hit the road, okay? Do you press this down and you get close enough so the voice breaks into it? Okay. So, make sure you're holding this down. And you can be as animated as you want to be. I have no problem being animated. Great. <laughs> it's, not, it's not working for you. Okay, got it. Okay. Don't be shy. Hold it down. Attention, everyone. Attention. My name is Kristen. I am here with the Nub Squad. And we have a really exciting program planned right now in the auditorium. We have some live birds. We're going to read a story. It's going to be really, really cool. So please come on over and join us. We would love to have you. Thank you. Sorry. On with the show. On with the show. <laughs> Is that okay with you guys? But Jack, you can't make fun of me if you're going to do the introduction. Now, if you watch Jack and sort of and making fun of me when I'm talking, you're not going to make fun of me when I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to make fun of me when I talk? Uh oh, I'm in trouble, huh? Let's see how we do. He is going to make fun of me, isn't he? Yeah. Well. It's nice. Uh oh, <laughs> he's really gonna talk, isn't he? Well, it's nice to meet all of you. Um, our organization is called NUBS. NUBS stands for No Unwanted Birds, and we are a group of volunteers. We are a, what's called a nonprofit organization, which means that we um, don't make any money for what we do. What we do is we are all people who have rescued and taken in animals, not just birds, but including birds. And um, we work with these animals, we train them, we get them comfortable around people, and then we give them a job. And what their job is, is to help inspire kids that may have gone through a tough time and things like that to, um, to try and make a second chance. So these are all animals that have been through some pretty hard stuff. And we're going to read a story about one of those animals today. But the idea is that even if you go through something tough, it doesn't mean that you can't ever be happy again, right? Because kids go through a lot of tough stuff, don't they? What kind of things do might a kid go through? That we kind of so I think this afternoon's project is going to be pig training. we got to get a collar and leash on that pig, man. What do you think? We need to. The problem is if we can't get a collar and leash on him, I don't know how we're going to get him back to the vet. And he definitely can't do any no squad visits like this. So step one pig. Step two, collar and leash, cheerio bribes. And uh, we just got to get them used to it, right? Yeah. I think we can do this. We were born to do this. That pig is meant to be on a collar and leash, out and about, talking to people. He just, he just doesn't know his own destiny yet. <laughs> what do you think? I think you're right. All right. I feel like um, I feel like we just do it every single day. I think we kind of slacked off because he hates it so much. And we gotta try again. Yeah. Otherwise, he's gonna be totally homebound. And um, okay, why is everyone going so slow? Oh my God! God! All right, where was I? <laughs> Big training. That's where I was. See, Kimbo, here's the deal. Yeah, remember Mr. Shark? Whoops! Oh, that happens every time, man. Eh? Alright, we love Mr. Shark. Let's, I just want to bribe you and put this collar on you. It's not that bad, I promise you. Okay? Okay. Because I know that you don't love this. But it is seriously limiting, oh my gosh, your ability to do stuff. Because you're always here, you're not 
out with us. And there's some people that really want to come and visit with them. And then, oh, oh, I'll follow you. No? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Alright, we gotta try something else. Today we're gonna try a different tactic at getting this collar on this pig. <laughs> and we did it, and he doesn't even seem to mind. <laughs> and I'm not sure who's more tired, this pig or me, but you were a good boy, Pumbaa.